The local Simla Moor raised the matter of legal logging that has raised tensions in the area. They are killing our trees, cutting down. Plus, we are serving. We are serving. We are serving. We are going to help us. We are The Minister for Relief, Disaster Preparedness and Refugees, Hilary Onek, who was visiting the Moor, called for an immediate halt to the chopping downs of Afrasalia Africana trees, which can be locally used as food and medicine. Mm -hmm. Action number one, this timber, no timber whatsoever from Lamo should be auctioned or sold by the local government of Lamo district. Those timber belong to the community. Number two, zero logging, completely. Anyone found logging. If the police don't take action, the community should take action. Onek also accused the district police force and UPDF soldiers of being partners. To find some soldiers, some trucks are being accompanied by soldiers. On top. To me, implication, the implication of that is that there are some high profile security officers who might be, who are also involved. A group of volunteers formed over the weekend said they would crush the cartel if the illegal activity continued, saying the Lamour District Police Commander, Godfrey Ninsima, had failed to support their operations. They added that the police from Kitgum district provided them security to apprehend four trucks of logs which are being kept at Lukung, Palabek Kal and Palabek Ogili police posts. And we agree that whether with the police or without, we shall make this thing end. We were given support from Kitgum by impounding one of the trucks in South Sudanese number plate loaded with the 30 pieces of logs. The only advice I gave to my brother, the PA, was that now you seem to be a different person pursuing a different direction, yet the district is also pursuing another direction. But basically I'm not a saboteur in this. The fight against logging in May and June left two people dead in Lamour District. In a new development, Lamour District Local Council passed a resolution to find loggers in a bid to raise revenue for the district. The regional police commander, Ezekiel Emitu, said volunteers' impounding of the trucks was a vote of no confidence on the district police. I am informed just yesterday there was a council meeting and a resolution was taken that they continue fining. Actually, they are now upgrading a fine from 2 million to 5 million. I have not yet seen that minute, but I want to make it clear here. We cannot uh, debate a contraband.